What's up guys, today I want to talk about a box that's sliding down an incline and that incline is not going to have any friction whatsoever. So I'm going to have an incline plane here with some theta and then I'm going to have a box with some mass that's going to be sliding down an incline without friction. We're going to go through all the force on this box and then we'll do a quick example but today this is no friction. All right. So a good place to start, guys, and we have to remember whenever we're going to be dealing with any incline plane with any friction or non-friction or pulleys, there are always going to be three vectors that we're always going to want to draw first, okay? And one of those vectors is going to be the weight. Guys, weight is always going to be there because you can't turn gravity off, right? Now, the box wants to fall straight down to Earth, but it can't because the darn incline is in the way. So what's going to happen is we are going to have a direction of motion, direction of motion that's going to be more like this way down the, down the incline. And we're going to call that the component of the weight parallel to the incline, FG parallel. And then also, because this box pushes into the surface a little bit, the surface we know because Newton's third law says that there's going to be a force that's going to be perpendicular to the surface that we call the force of the normal. These three forces, guys, like I said, regardless of whether there's friction or not friction, these forces are always going to be there. And we can solve for these in certain ways. Fg, we've already learned, is just m times g where G is the acceleration due to gravity, and on the AP level, we just call that meters per second squared. Somewhere else, you might see it referred to as 9.8, but to keep our math simple, I'm going to call it uh, 10 meters per second squared. Now, we know that FG parallel and F normal are components of the weight, so MG must be there. They have to have some sort of weight associated with them. Okay, but now because that incline's there, we have to factor in the theta. And the way we do so is when we're going down the incline, we use the sine of theta. And to remember this, I remember sine makes it slide. All right, and that's going to be the force that is going to make that slide down the incline. Now, the force of the normal is going to be the cosine of theta and we remember that cos keeps it close all right this is the force that's going to keep it near the incline right here so these guys are the only forces and the only components that are going to be acting on a box with no friction okay so now we can look at newton's laws and we can say that, excellent, A, we know A equals F net over M. And the F net is only going to be associated with the direction of motion. So we don't have to worry about Fn in this case because it's not in the DOM. It's not in the direction of motion. So I'm only going to look at forces that are associated with the direction of motion and the only thing in the direction of motion is f g parallel so now when i want to solve for a i see that a is equal to f g parallel over the total mass of the system and m g and f g parallel is m g sine makes it slide theta divided by m Okay, and look at this, this is wonderful, boom. So now we have an expression that we can use for an incline, and we could say that A is going to be equal to G sine theta. All right, now let's take a look at an example of this using some numbers. If I look at an incline here, Let's give this incline an angle of, say, 30 degrees. Don't forget, guys, degree sign is a unit. And then we'll have a box M1. And we'll say that M1 has a mass of 20 kilograms. 
items, okay? So awesome sauce. Let's take a look at all of those three forces I said we have to have on there. We have to have FG. We have to have FG parallel. We have to have the force of the normal. These three will always be there. And when there's no friction, that's going to be it. So now we jump in and we say that A equals F net in the DOM. All right. And guys, this will keep us, I'll, I'll remind you what the direction of motion is. Don't forget the DOM is just going to be down the incline. Right? So we don't have to worry about the force of the normal in this case because it's not in the DOM. That is going to be equal to F net over M. We see that A, the only force acting in the direction of motion is FG parallel, which is going to be equal to MG sine makes it slide theta divided by M of the box. But it turns out I gave you the M but I didn't even need it. A is equal to, this is going to cancel out, G sine theta. Let's substitute in with units, so we keep good practice. A is going to be 10 meters per second squared, sine of 30 degrees. A is then going to equal 5 meters per second squared. Guys, that is how you solve for the acceleration of a box down a frictionless incline. If you have any other questions or topics that you want me to discuss or explain, just leave them in the comments below.